Hey guys, it's we've been back with another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can overclock the RX560 4GB version and I'm gonna give you the best numbers, the best overclocking clock numbers that you should use for best performance and best compatibility. So the first thing you need is the MSI Afterburner. You can go to its website and download it from there. go here go down 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 and there it is just download it from here and install it next thing you need is for mark it's not it's optional it's optional but I'd recommend it you should download it I'll tell you later what's the use of it now just download this both and install it then open MSI afterburner after you've done so Sorry, my numbers are already overclocked. After you've done so, you should see this kind of numbers. I've changed the skin, you can change it too. So, it's not really necessary to change the skin, skin though. So, the first thing you need to do is increase the core clock a little. Like, just 1250 would be good for starting. Then check if you're facing any kind of crashes or anything. Wait for a minute or two if it doesn't happen. And the temperature should remain stable too, like mine are still 34. Then you keep increasing it, like increase by 25. Increase the power limit, and this is very important if you don't increase the power limit, you won't see any performance difference. So increase it to 15 first, and you can just increase it to 1850 memory clock you can increase it to like you can even max it but you should test the lower numbers first let's try these at these numbers run a benchmarking test on per mark click this GPU stress test and wait for half an hour and see if it gives any crashes or the CPU or the system shuts down itself or anything like that if it doesn't go back to MSI Afterburner or if it does decrease the numbers if it doesn't increase like I'm using these numbers right now 1350 so you can test these and the power limit to 35 and just max it so as you can see if uh, now if this doesn't work for you you can decrease the numbers just run a benchmarking test again like I told you a GPU stress test and if it's going smoothly then you can even increase it like I tried a 40 power limit and 1400 but when I played Assassin's Creed Unity after a couple of hours the game closed itself after three or four hours maybe the game closed itself like it was a, it was a crash so I decreased the number so I'd recommend you use 35 it will maybe decrease the FPS by one or two which you won't really notice but you will notice the crash so just be safe use these numbers and if it doesn't go well then just decrease them if it does try increasing them too then increase the fan speed it's very important you need to increase it but uh, my your noise would increase definitely I don't know if you can hear my fans kick up but I can maybe you can't because of the music anyways so you need to increase the fan speed or else the game might crash during the gameplay which you wouldn't really like so just use the numbers and you'll be fine and I hope it worked for you too and if it did like the video, subscribe to my channel and comment down if you have any problems. See you guys in the next video.